Hi guys, Ian at Paint Tech Training Academy. We're fed up of working on bad plaster. We've been doing it for over 20 years. Now, times are changing. Spray plaster is the way forward. There's loads of different companies now. We've got Canal, we've got Bezier, we've got Tupre, USG. There's loads of options. The beauty is the product comes already pre-mixed. Just needs a little whisk up and away we go. It's more of a filler than a plaster, so as decorators, we're very familiar with the product. You can use spatulas, you can use blades, you can use trowels. As decorators, we can even use filling knives. The wastage is less than 1%. You just throw the rest of the gear back in the tub. Plaster sprays at over 3000 PSI. It comes out like crazy, but it's incredibly controllable and virtually no overspray. Plaster can be applied up to three meters high just from ground level. You don't need a tower, you don't need a scaffold, you don't even need a ladder. The plaster is fantastic for ceilings. Just spray it one way, then back again the other way, and just cross hatch it until you get a nice level consistency. The Rafina blades can come up to about four foot wide. You can cover a lot of area very quickly. It gives an incredible smooth finish. You just apply one way, and then secondly, the other way. And once it's done, just stand back and you'll see how smooth it is. Look how smooth it is. It's absolutely fantastic. You can even apply the plaster to brick walling. Two coats, skimmed off, leveled off, and then a light sand completely covers it. You can use blades or you can use trowels, depending on your preference. You can use a combination of both. You can accelerate the drying times with fans, dehumidifiers, and the beauty is it just won't crack like normal plaster. Plaster can be used to cover artex, wood chip, brick wall, pretty much anything. Because it only has 10% water content, it doesn't lift anything, it just dries. The binders hold it all together. It doesn't need priming, you just spray it, level it, trowel it, and leave it to dry. Give it a light sand, job finished. Yes, we have to sand it, but I'd rather sand this stuff than sand the plaster walls that I've been working on over the past few years.